Welcome to Sam Roberts Wrestling Podcast. Here is Sam Roberts. And hype girl, Katie Linendahl. <gasps> Sam Roberts and Katie Linendahl, of course, we're here at Radio Row, WrestleMania 31. And we're wait, wait. Is the camera on? Is it on? This time the Tell camera's on. Sam. Is it on? It is. He is brought it? the A team this year. Indeed, the A team. The A- Wait, so last year that wasn't the A team? <laughs> that was the other A team. <laughs> Your wife last year? There's a couple of A teams. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Welcome, Stardust. Well, that, no, let's not talk about me. Let's talk about those nails. Hit them up. Have Hey-o. you seen it? Got some Stardust oh! nails in here. You're screaming. I apologize. This is what I like to cause McKee right on the nails. <laughs> Katie Linendahl has decorated two of her fingernails to look like Stardust's and like, face. Hey, here's the deal. Sense I only have ten fingers, like most people. So I really, I mean, you took up two. I, I am honored. Thank you. Privileged. We're honored Undertaker to be here got with one. you. Undertaker only got one? Yeah. Where's his finger? Oh. oh he should have showed him. Oh. <laughs> no. Whoa. <laughs> it's it's a PG right. clip. Well, listen, Stardust, let's start this. Oh. With <laughs> Stardust, control Jeez. yourself. This is a, you this okay? is not the ladder match, You're man. Yeah, okay, I know, Just right? Fell on my foot. What's the haps? Oh, oh, how awful! It wouldn't it's, have been a radio row without so it. Oh, awful! The haps, other than the nails, the beautiful, exceptional fingernails, the haps would be. What's going on on top of your head? Let's talk about it. Let's talk. Where's Wait, the can signature? Can we take a time out? We're you're here. All of you, and we're talking about Sam's hair. Yeah, looks great. This we're talking about Sam's hair in this moment. Strolling through the lobby of the hotel this morning with this <laughs> this new and and not improved what? hair. No, this isn't. This is. Uh, this is. You got the Ken Patera do. You want that Dusty Rhodes perm? This, this is what do you know about Dusty Rhodes? I know enough about about professional wrestling Ooh. and sports entertainment oh. perms. Dolph Ziggler, mm-hmm. dry hair ring perm. <laughs> yes, yes, True yes. True statement. You like Dolph better dry hair? Oh, I, I just think it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I think it's hilarious. Look, it's WrestleMania. Post match. I decided it was time to get a little classy, bring it down a little bit. Plus, Stardust. What tends to happen is your ends start splitting, your hair starts breaking. You don't know. You're You've getting never- older. I'm getting older. You're getting older. Did you know? I'm maturing. Did you know that Galileo was the very first, the absolute first, number one, the, the trend-setting, groundbreaking first guy to look through a telescope? Why would on earth would I know that? I'm telling you now. I spent high school watching wrestling, mm. not learning about Galileo. Yeah. Mm. Who was your favorite wrestler? I always like Cody Rhodes when Ooh, he was around. Cody Rhodes. Sucks. <laughs> Cody Rhodes couldn't couldn't draw flies. He sucks. He's not at WrestleMania. He had his share of WrestleManias. Yep. This one, so seen it on the nails. Two nails. Two of the ten. Two. Two. Of That's the a ten. fifth. When Mercury <laughs> is in retrograde, <laughs> does <laughs> it? You're shouting. Does it affect your work? Ah. Uh, no, no. You know where it affects my work? In With your communication? Mercury being in <laughs> retrograde, the age of Aquarius, a, a waning crescent. These, these elements of, of astronomy. The only thing where it affects stardust is, is, in, is in presentation. So people ask, they're like, oh, mm. you, just, you just cover yourself in, the, in these crazy colors. These colors have mm. symbolism. They have deep meaning. They have, a, they have a pertinence and importance. Every single one represents something out there in the astral plane. Aren't you sick? Well, what was the question? Aren't you sick of putting on the face paint? It's, it's, oh, you, every day you're at Access yesterday oh with the paint on. You're here with the so paint good. on. So good. What? Face paint and your ear paint. I'm so sorry. I am just so disappointed in you. <laughs> Why? That, that hair is brutal. You've got it's fire-colored brutal. contacts. It's kind of jacked in. up, Sam. I, what? I haven't. I've, I. I didn't want to say anything yesterday. It's kind of jacked up. Jacked did you just up. flex. I did. I thought she was <laughs> referring to me being jacked up. I took You're also it. jacked up. Thank you. 
Thank you. This is a new Mevlar suit, too, to fit my big muscular body. Well, I really body. respect that you've been changing up the colors. <laughs> Thank you. And it goes with your... Because we started with the gold and the black. Uh, then we went to the red. Uh, now we're at the blue. Is there any symbolic reason for it? I, I, for the color interpretation? Oh, currently? Yes. There is. Could you tell? But let's talk, let's talk about the real change. Ooh. WrestleMania. Yes. What on earth? Is Stardust going to wear to WrestleMania? What colors? That's what everybody's asking. That pageantry. That yeah. is the question. Ooh, that guy's asking. Do you have something custom made? It. That Seamus stand up is asking it. Yeah. I don't know. Ryan Seacrest is going to be covering the WrestleMania red carpet just to find out who and what is Stardust wearing. Absolutely. He's already called me. We've talked about it. We've discussed it. He's got a tidbit. If I had my phone, but I don't have any pockets. What kind of phone does Stardust have? The Ooh. same type of phone every human being has six plus thank you yes <laughs> and if you don't have a six plus, plus i don't trust you what's, i don't want to what's talk stardust to you. favorite app stardust favorite app yeah oh it's boring tinder yelp yeah <laughs> you're shouting again yelp it's, it's it's yelp. tinder yeah, i don't know is tinder done yet <laughs> grinder oh i'm whoa. asking it's a fair question sam after dark <laughs> it's a fair question. no it's yelp let me ask you a question let me ask you a question about WrestleMania. Why am I? I feel like we're seated and we're too casual. Stargazer. This is it. This is my show. Yeah, but it's too. Do you have a stool? You need a stool. I get, a, I get the man a stool. I feel like I'm leaned back. I feel like yeah. lean. Okay. Fat Joe. No, I did this last. This is much more comfortable. Dude, if you bite it, it's not on us. You no, got a big I, match oh, if up. I bite it, it's, huh? it, it is a, it's all on Sam. Stardust is now sitting on the back of the chair. I would be so happy if you fall and broke your neck and missed WrestleMania because of this interview. <laughs> That's the meanest thing that I will hear all week. And I hear plenty of mean things. I'm with I'm in the ring at WrestleMania with plenty of mean guys, mean cats. You're One of them's in here now, Ambrose. Keep your distance. <laughs> right? <laughs> he likes cars. Um, is it a car or is it a dirt bike? Like a little 50cc, right. you know, get a little trouble, huh? Right. Yeah, no, I know, I know. He's, he's, he's elbowing me. Um, listen, you're at WrestleMania, you're in an intercontinental title match. Huge. Last pay-per-view I saw you at, you lost to Goldust. Why on earth would you now get the title shot? <gasps> oh, bringing out the big question. Is that a big question? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bringing out the big guns. <laughs> I get a title match at WrestleMania because I changed my own fate. I changed the course of the Intercontinental Championship ladder match when I attacked the dirty yes man, Daniel Bryan, and thrust, thrust, Whoa. being careful because of the chair, thrust myself into the true main events of WrestleMania 31, that being the Intercontinental Championship ladder match. You know, there's 14 black holes in space that we are actually aware of. 14, this is a fact, check it. Not to steal uh, Tyson and Cesaro's thing, but it's a fact. I think there might be more than 14 black holes in space. 14 that we are aware of. Our scientists, Earth scientists are aware of. Earth Joe, 14. At WrestleMania okay. 31, the ladder match is number 15. I was about to say, I think Ooh. this interview just became number 15, but yeah! Whoa! <laughs> you're shouting again. I'll keep it down. Besides, <laughs> besides your own match, you, do, do you look forward to oh, WrestleMania? Oh, you about Goldust. Let right? me talk. Let's talk about Goldust. Your brother, Goldust. Yeah, he's great. He's not my brother. We, are bro we were brothers in dust. Right. In another galaxy? N no, not on any... On any, if you subscribe to the multiple Earths theory that we're all just vibrating on a yeah. different frequency, yeah. no, we're not brothers at all. Is that Dean Ambrose dirt bike again? No, oh. it's oh. and then that was. Do no. we ever see the connection get back together? No, because <laughs> because do you know the average distance between stars? 150 feet. Nope. 20 million <laughs> miles, what? believe it or not. 20 million. That's the average distance between gold dust and stardust. It's just fate that we paired gold dust being a harbinger of what was to come of stardust. And now we're, we're living in that. Yeah. We're here. Yeah. You know, our sun, it's tinted yellow by the atmosphere, but it's actually white. What? What, if anything, could make Stardust Star burn out? Oh, what a question. Jeez. 
Uh, this firing squad up here? Oh. I dug deep for that one. Uh, if anything hmm. that could make the light of stardust burn out, I think it would be Cody Rhodes. If he ever came back. I thought you said he sucked. He does suck. Oh. But if he ever came back, I don't know He's if like I tell him he sucked to his face. Maybe. Wow. Maybe like kryptonite? Maybe? I don't know. He's just there's something about that pairing. I feel like you can't have one and the other. So that that's about it. That's all. Is will Stardust now forever in the galaxy remain single star? Ah. Whoa. I felt his breath on my hand. Yeah. That You're got blessed. tense real fast. <laughs> You're blessed. What you are blessed. Question? Oh, that was lucky. Yeah. Don't shower for a week. No, and it didn't look like you did, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey I got my hair washed at the salon when I got this oh, cut. Oh, at the salon? Well, when am I gonna go what to a, a barber? Man, no, at the salon. <laughs> at the salon. Ah. What were you saying? What were I you was saying? going back to, is is this a single star? Is this not part of a constellation now? <laughs> are you going solo? Is this what? You get oh, what this you is did. a solo act. For all, uh, solo that's it. album. No more tag ten team. Ten signature songs. If I'm in another tag team. I will literally rip my ears off Ooh. and send them to your office. I can if have I them. ever have to hold your hand up, if I ever have to do this again, I will rip my ears off and send them to your office. That'll be my new oh. favorite piece of memorabilia, though. Oh, I'm sure. It might be worth something. If it's the blue ear. Right. Yeah, Ooh. nobody wants the black ear. Everybody wants the blue ear, right? I want the blue ah. ear. That's what I was looking at. Ah. Is there any interviewer that you've dealt with in your press tours that, uh, can match you on star puns the way Katie Lindendahl has been doing this morning. Oh, no, I feel she's she's in the upper echelon. We started this thing off with a bang, shouting because the camera was literally on. She was professional. <laughs> she had a sense of occasion in the fingernails and the stars. And you and I have had some rough patches. So this was a this was a fresh fresh wow. take. Thanks so much. Fresh take. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. My T-shirt has Macho Man on it, and it's not even—it's not even a WWE T-shirt. It's a—that's messed up, Sam. Right, right across the way, is is the merch. Right across, <laughs> you could literally steal it at this point in the morning, <laughs> and you're still wearing <laughs> your own thing, your own guy, right? You can go your own way, right? <laughs> no, right, exactly. Go your own way. Who is Stardust's favorite musical act? That's a great question. Ooh. Iggy Stardust? Well, this interview is over. Oh. <laughs> I don't even get to answer the question. That's a big yeah. The answer was in the question, It Sam. was in the question. Indeed. Ziggy Stardust. What does Stardust do to relax? I don't. Whew. Oh. I don't really think Stardust ever truly relaxes. You know, all the, the atoms in our bodies, they're created through fusion in, in fusion in stars themselves. So there's always this tumultuous, just blah, 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 going on. I don't really ever see Stardust relaxing. If Stardust ever was to relax, it would be in that moment of ascension and not the other bike ascension. Like this is climbing the rungs one by one by one by one by one by one. and ascending to the top of the ladder at WrestleMania 31, grabbing the Ivory Enterprise. Th that, that's the only time I could ever see Stardust <sighs> even taking a breath. It would be deserved. <sighs> it, it would. It would be deserved. You know, I have a question. I follow Cody Rhodes on Twitter and I follow oh, Stardust on Twitter. God. Sit down, Stardust. We don't know Let who that you. is. God. I know who that is. I follow no. both, both gentlemen on Twitter. My question is, does Stardust get as annoyed with uh, people on the internet who think they understand uh, you have the a wrestling hamstring business? Pull there, man? I'm, I'm getting a real good stretch. What's the question? Does Stardust get as annoyed with people on the internet who claim oh. to understand the wrestling business as well as people in it as much as Cody Rhodes does? What does Cody Rhodes get annoyed with? With people referring to him as Stardust? He Not should be big. so flattered. I didn't ask that question at all. What do you? What you were paying attention. You were stretching your ankles out or something. He's doing the stretch. What's the he, Cody Rhodes he sometimes his gets hammy. In, uh, Well, that's because he was moving around so much. Cody Rhodes, we're, you're in an interview. You can relax. He will not relax until he has the Intercontinental Thank you. Championship. Paying attention, man. 
She just blowing you away. Is this her show? I just, what I do is I, let, I go talk, 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 talk. Okay, my turn. Talk, talk, talk. Okay, my turn. That's what goes on in my head. That's, that's, that's okay. That's normal. That's that average male earthling, mm. mainly in the United States more than anywhere else. That's kind of a thing. Yes. Yeah. 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 Lack of communication. Correct. You're not a communicator. No. You have to be a communicator. You know we're gonna terraform Mars soon, and if you're not a communicator, you I don't, don't know what, make it. Are you on the Mars One? I'm uh, not on the Mars One. They need trip. to terraform that son of a bitch, Wait. and then I'll show up. Before son we have a gun. Everybody's assuming that everybody is as constellationally aware of things as Stardust and Katie Lindendahl are. What are you talking about? Doing <laughs> doing what to Mars? Mars One. So there is a select, highly selective group of individuals that will be going to Mars in just a few years Rich and never people. to return. No, it's a one-way mission. They have to terraform the planet. What's terraform mean? You got to put little little seedlings in, in in the red clay. You gotta you got to bring oxygen. You to could the definitely atmosphere. get in that application process. I could. And I, I mean that I, that's a gimme. I want to get on the I want to get on the trip that comes back though to leave right. to leave Earth and then just. Say goodbye to all this. I mean, look around. Look at that Seamus stand up over there. Look around. There's merch you could steal right now. There's merch you could steal. You ever see that movie Interstellar? You end up behind a bookshelf for the rest of your life. This right. Guy always with the fiction, right. the movies, the comics. Spent 30 minutes asking me last time about Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> We're, Wait, we're I feel like you did have a question though, and then I just bulldozed you. What was the question? Look at that. Excellent communicator. Yeah. I was, <laughs> you're shouting. With. With the stardust nail. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, this was my question. <laughs> my question was, I've seen Cody Rhodes get annoyed with people on Twitter. Uh, because, you know, they, whether, whether uh, they're using wrestling terminology, whether they're using, they, they think they have an insight vernacular. into pro wrestling. like, hey, man, uh, could, could you sign this card? I'm so into your persona. I love your gimmick. <laughs> Kayfabe, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> stardust gets annoyed, too. No, no. Stardust, <laughs> Stardust does rarely ever get annoyed. He he loves the 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 Earthlings. He loves the little starburst. He just he loves the the meet and greets and everything about it. That's he, why I'm at Access all day. He doesn't get upset when people misuse the term heel. The heel is literally that's a heel. Jesus. That's the heel of my boot. What's a heel, Sam? It's what you're slamming on the table exactly, with. Exactly, and nothing else. And if you say it to me like it's something else, I just go, because <laughs> the conversation's done. Right. right. Right? Right. But I could say that heel just broke our table. Right? God. What right? a mop, huh? Did it break the table? Throw that out. No, but if it did. Get it out of here. No, it didn't break the table. I was safe. All right, well, listen, Stardust. Are we wrapping it up? I think so. Unless, Katie, you have more space questions. Space questions? I mean, I got space questions all day. <laughs> space question, I can answer. Do you, is that, part of, is that part of being Stardust? Do you have to go home and read fun facts all day? Like, do you have to, like, eat a bunch of popsicles and read what it says on the stick so you can get, get through these so interviews? So get some jokes? No, not jokes. Like, jokes say, that are on a popsicle this stick. This is patronizing. Have, on a popsicle it stick. It'll say, and everything he subscribes to the idea a, that here's this man... <laughs> That this muscular, dashing even, handsome son of a gun that rolls out of bed and just paints himself up, right. throws on a Mevlar suit and all he of a sudden like this. pretends to know about space, pretends to know about the stars, pretends to live on the astral plane, pretends to be the guy at WrestleMania 31 who's going to ascend the ladder and win the Ivory Enterprise. That's not the case, Sam. You know better. Shame on you. Shame on your hair. Goddamn smarks, am I right? <laughs> Stardust is a being. He's amazing. Into and of himself. He doesn't wake up in the morning and wear wrestling boots. It's just what's on his feet at all times. You ever wear, like, T-shirts or anything? I have a hoodie. All right. They gave me a hoodie to walk through the lobby of the hotel. So we were causing quite a stir. We actually saw him at about 5.50 a.m. I had the hoodie on, right? Yeah. It was kind of awesome. It's a hoodie. <laughs> That's what they said it was. You don't like using yeah, that um, hood, hoodie. <laughs> I want some Stardust merch. When's that coming? There is Stardust merch over Where? there at that same. No, merch it's not in that. Uh, it's not in the big merch Son area. Of a yeah, you need. Well, to... there are Stardust gloves for sale at WrestleMania. There's a Stardust mask. I want a hoodie. Mask. I want a hoodie that zips up into the star. Like, oh you know? my gosh, where is Joe? Not Earth Joe. Joe Merch Joe. I'll talk Not to Joe you, Merch Earth Joe. Joe. Merch Joe. Merch Joe. Merch Joe. That's a good idea, yeah, right? You see Merch Joe. He's the one who comes up with the 30,000 Cena shirts you'll see. But let. <laughs> he also does the lovely star 
gloves and mask. Is and that, if you tell them about the hoodie, I want the hoodie. Is that one of the is that one of the thoughts behind uh, coming out with different colored face paint every week? That okay, the we're money. not we're not the only ones that the can money. do multicolored t-shirts. It's brilliant. The money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the money. Whoa. No, I have. I honestly, every dollar they they pay me with WWE, I spend two of it. So I don't <laughs> care about the money. We're here for the party, right? Yeah. It's WrestleMania. Right. You know, I got to pay for the salon business. Right. You know. Well. You know. I guess the son of the son of a plumber wouldn't, uh, wouldn't. Union plumber. <laughs> union plumber. He's a union plumber. Oh. Stardust uh, grandfather. I'm not, I'm not related to Dusty Rhodes. Oh, what's going on over there? Oh, oh. morning news, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, here's yeah. the weather. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not related to Dusty Rhodes. I'm not related to <sighs> gold dust or any you of You do these. a Dusty Rhodes impression? Ooh, that would be good. No. If I you will? Dusty Rhodes for, if you will? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're saying? Do you do one? No, oh, I just... Oh. I used... Just let it go. Huh? What, are you, what are you saying? Huh? Come on, fam. <laughs> My son, huh? He hadn't gotten the tower of power. Too sweet to be sour, huh? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do. Yeah? It's your body. <laughs> your body of work. That's what, that's what he always telling me. That's what he said when he got in the hotel last night. That's what he said. He said, I need a king sweet. Daddy, you know what I'm saying? That's our time, right? Right. I guess I do an okay nothing wrong. It sounds, it sounds like something. So good. Yeah, yeah. Well, now I can't stop. I can't stop it, you know? Do the rest of these interviews. I can't stop doing it. It's nothing wrong. That's Seamus stand up. He get it, y'all. He going to get it. There's so many good Dufty things, you know? Sleeping in alleys, right? Yeah. I don't even know all the catchphrases. He's dining on... What pork and beans and with and hanging out with kings and queens and, and things of them nature, you know? Right. It's about that body of work. That's what it's about. Putting up that body of work, that hall of fame. You know, I have a Dusty Rhodes story. You do? Mm -hmm. Tell me, Stardust. So in another lifetime I had a friend, his name was Cody Rhodes, and he inducted his father into the Hall of Fame in Detroit, Michigan for <laughs> WrestleMania. And they came to him right before we went out. And they said, Dusty, you're going on last, so you can go as long as you want to go. And Goldbust, he said to Cody Rhodes, he said, oh, why does he get to go on last? Who'd he ever beat? And Dusty Rhodes sauntered behind us in a very sauntery fashion. And he literally said, everybody on that stage, baby, and just kept walking. <laughs> and then I looked on the stage, and yeah, yeah, it was pretty funny. Horrible thought, but it was pretty funny. <laughs> Egos. Running wild. Running wild. Well, Stardust. I'm glad you were able to hear that story from Cody and share it with us. I shared it with you. I did a dusty impression, too. That's a first. That from was you. very good. Yeah, it was a, I don't feel like it was. You know, I only, do. Only one other man has done a great Dusty Rhodes impression on it? Sam Roberts' show. Who was it? It was Cody Rhodes. What? <laughs> Real. Well, was listen. I ever on your show? <laughs> what do you mean I? As Stardust has been on the show. Yeah. Cody Rhodes was on the show. Cody Rhodes. Yeah, I did Cody first. No, he never. It was that great of an interview. Yeah. No, he never did Cody Rhodes. Yeah, and then and not only did I, I interview Cody Rhodes, was a dick. He was a dick. <laughs> quite frankly. Hard interview, and he was just <laughs> egomaniac and mustaching around. Yes. Just a just a just a real. Uh, I'm the future of the business. Oh, yeah. Get over for me. Pfft. Yeah, I heard it. You know what happened? Where's his merch? <laughs> Whoa. I saw Cody Rhodes. Two years ago at the Hall of Fame, he introduced me to his wife. Oh. And he said, you know what he said? She's quite lovely. He said I was his favorite uh, interview. Oh. So that's what Cody said. What did she say? Oh, there's a joke in there somewhere. There was a I'm joke in there. I right? could give you a yeah. song. All right. All right. Well, listen. Oh, Earth Joe's here to wrap it up. You doing this thing? Stardust. You I'm going to. right? <laughs> The planets, they're circling. Uh, perfect alignment. The eclipse just a few days ago. That did happen. I'm going to let you do a whole bunch of worse interviews. I appreciate your time here on Sam Roberts Show with Katie Linendahl. And uh, hey, man, have a great weekend, okay? Climb to the top for that title. That's right. WrestleMania 31. <laughs> nice. <laughs>